from the New Zealand United States Council, this is Trade Up, a content series where we share the stories of those who represent the diverse, vibrant and exciting nature of the New Zealand United States relationship. I'm Jordan Small, Executive Director here at the NZUS Council. In this episode, I talk with Sean Edlin, Chief Executive and Co-Founder of Dotterall Technologies, an Auckland-based startup developing noise reduction and audio recording technology for drones. They're an exciting tech company focused on the opportunities in the US and they're being noticed. Dotterall's emergence is also a story about the growing vibrancy of New Zealand's startup ecosystem, with Sean and the other Dotterall co founders coming out of Lancer Tech and other successful startups. It bodes well for the future. With government support, we're going to see more rocket labs and more lands attacks um, uh, to the world uh, right now. So you know, we're going to see some, some kind of huge Kiwi companies with, with, with huge global presence um, uh, very soon. So it's just, it's an exciting time um, for, for New Zealand tech. That's the hum of drone. Dotterall's technology does two things. First, they've developed a physical device or a shroud that makes drones quieter. And second, they have a novel microphone array and onboard filtering hardware to capture audio from the drone in real time. They're targeting opportunities in the screen sector where noise and safety have been a big problem for the use of drones on film sets, as well as opportunities in government with defence, coastal surveillance and first responder applications. The potential is massive. The drone industry is expected to be worth $100 billion globally by 2020, with military applications making up the bulk of the market at $70 billion. Consumer drones are expected to hit $17 billion, while businesses and civil governments make up the last $13 billion. The drone industry is really at its in, uh, infancy, and um, the commercial uses are um, uh, increasing kind of every you know, every week we're seeing a, a brand new use case for drones that, that is, is an, has exciting commercial potential um, you, you've mentioned one so drone logistics that as a commercial reality is not far away at all and um, you know, as you mentioned we're seeing now um, commercial trials of, of, of drone deliveries it's starting you know, a, a, lot, a lot of it's happening in New Zealand at the moment and, and Australia um, is due to quite favourable um, airspace regulations so we've seen uh, in, in Canberra uh, Google Wing um, uh, undertake drone delivery trials where they're delivering coffees and burritos um, uh, to, to, to residents um, but there's been significant backlash due to the noise so the, the Australian government is actually looking uh, looking to regulate drone noise and set standards and well, it's what they're doing right now because of the level of, of public backlash um, uh, with the, these delivery trials so um, and we're seeing the same thing in, in the states where these trials, you know, they're starting to uh, UPS delivering um, uh, medical uh, organs um, where, yeah, but it's the same thing. They, they, they need to solve the noise and safety uh, for that to become a real commercial uh, reality. Um, and uh, then yeah, we've got this emerging uh, urban mobility market, so flying flying taxis. It's a little bit further away, um, but uh, you know, what we've seen with with that market is a, a number of the the players these big airspace companies um uh have kind of got these these prototypes where they're able to to lift um a, a, the equivalent of a human or a couple of humans and stay up in the air for a meaningful amount of time but they're now at the stage where they're also needing to overcome the regulatory barriers which again is noise and safety so so the versions being now made now the real focus is on making them quieter uh, and, and and making those those propellers and and, and flight much safer, um, and that's because uh, you know uh, 
the commercial operation really is, is, is starting to happen over the next few years, which is is just amazing. And you know, I, I really do think uh, we'll see um, some of the first commercial operations here here in New Zealand because New Zealand uh, New Zealand government is, is incredibly supportive of, of helping create that industry. As Sean acknowledges, the support of the New Zealand government has been critical with a number of trials and our emerging regulatory frameworks for these technologies drawing to New Zealand big players, investment, and importantly, talent. The government is is supportive of uh, you know, trials of things like beyond line of sight where at the moment um, you know, we'll, we'll be you know, really one of the, the first countries in the world where we'll have you know, special areas of the country where, where that's, that's allowed to um, where drones are allowed to operate like that. Um, the logistics trials, urban mobility trials, a lot of that's happening here in New Zealand um, with, with strong government support. Um, and so you know, that's, that's our industry and, and it is, there is huge benefits from that because not only is that helping um, uh, New Zealand uh, drone companies and um, innov- innovators, but it's also bringing this talent from offshore and it's bringing uh, big entities that are wanting to use the favourable um, regulatory, uh, emerging regulatory framework to do their own trials here um, and, and you know, have their initial uh, demo and commercial operations here in New Zealand. Addressing noise and safety concerns is critical, and Dotterill are well placed. Sean talks about the ambition of Dotterill to become the industry standard and for their technology not just to be a specialised feature on some high end drones, but to be applied across all drones. And that's, I think, where the real opportunity uh, lies for Dotterill is that as, as companies now really focus on, on uh, fulfilling commercial promises, um, uh, particularly noise and safety, um, uh, it, it, we're kind of leading the charge there. And what it creates for, for Dotterill is the um, uh, ability for us, our technology, uh, to become the um, the industry standard solution. So really, that's that's the focus, and what what we're aiming to do with this tech uh, this technology is is uh, is um, not just kind of make it a feature on some specialist drones, uh, but ultimately have have our solution uh, on every drone and be 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 the, be the industry standard. Um, so in terms of you know, right now. Um, uh, commercially, we've been doing a number of quite exciting and, and some quite high-profile integration and customization uh, projects um, with some, some, some large entities. Um, we're now quite focused on productizing this technology. So um, you know, next year, you'll see products for some of the high-scale, uh, more industry standard drones um, as kind of retrofits and, and, and payload products. Um, and that requires us spending a lot of time in, in, in the US and, and rolling that, that out in, in, into the United States. Um, and uh, yeah, so I mean, as, as a company, we really do look to, to grow in, in, into that market. And um, as, as we, you know, th- that, is, that is the drone market for us and, and, and where um, we, need to, uh, we need to be present. As the biggest drone market for commercial and defence applications, the US is a key focus for Dotterill. The US part is, um, is really that it is the biggest drone market um, not necessarily in terms of drone manufacture a lot of drones are still being manufactured in China so Shenzhen um, but really kind of commercial drone operations it is the key market for, for any drone company around the world to, to really focus on um, and that's in, in both defense and um, and, and, and other commercial uh, commercial markets. Um, and so, yeah, it, it, for, at the moment for us, that means me being on a on a plane to the US, kind of every, every month, um, and 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 selling um, and working with some of our, our customers over there. Um, uh, but it, it's the reality for for a, a company like ours. Of all the big Chinese tech company doing business here in the US, one has so far flown under the political radar, so to speak. 
DJI makes 70% of the drones sold across the US every year, and yet it has escaped the kinds of scrutiny that have been imposed on other Chinese tech companies such as Huawei. Sean talks about the dominance of the large Chinese manufacturer DJI and the desire of the US to build up its own equivalent, a competitive local US drone manufacturer. And both the opportunities and challenges that come with this in the current geopolitical environment. Really, um, what the US government has is, is, is been looking to do is, is build up its its own DJI equivalent. Or um, uh, we're seeing a lot of consolidation and government funding to build up. Uh, a home turf, a US home turf, uh, serious drone manufacturer that that is you know, has use in, the, in in multiple sectors, but but kind of has um, application within defence and, and government as uh, first and foremost. Um, that I guess uh, really it presents opportunities and barriers to to Dotteral. Um, really, uh, for us, um, because we're seeing this this uh, these US drone manufacturers grow uh, um, and, and become quite well funded, it presents kind of potential uh, commercial targets and, and partnership opportunities for us um, uh, in, in, in our key market. Um, you know, all the, the barriers are somewhat that we do need to think carefully about you know, which markets we want to play in and then which foreign uh, drone companies we can ultimately work with um, uh, so yeah it's um, it's a really interesting geopolitical space at, at the moment um, but uh, you know I think we'll see uh, with this consolidation and with this uh, this growth of funding of, of, of US uh, drone companies we'll see uh, so we'll see a shakeout and we'll see some uh, some big US players emerge um, or drone players emerge in the very near future thanks Sean for sharing your story the massive potential and opportunity in the drone set the and the ambitions of Dotteral to be the industry standard. It's an incredibly exciting time for this company, and they're well placed to provide the solutions to some of the key barriers to the further uptake of drones. That's dealing with noise and safety. We wish Sean and the Dotteral team all the best and look forward to seeing them take on further US opportunities. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jordan Small. This is Trade Up. Join us again soon. Mm-hmm.